what I want to do now is get my navigation list over here into into position essentially um, I have it uh, as it stands now it's kinda in the middle of the page but when I look at where I'm trying to go I realize that it's all the way at the, up at the top and it looks like there's a full black bar going across the entire page uh, for that navigation menu so well let's start off with probably the easiest thing to do and that's just setting the background color for this thing to be black um, and this thing is we don't want to just set the uh, list items to be black but the whole unordered list to be black so going down in my CSS I could start with nav menu and I'm targeting the UL the whole list and we'll do what background color and I'm just gonna do it black because that's what it's gonna be now I refreshed it and kinda look what happens you see that this black background or this UL doesn't actually span the entire container well of course it doesn't because we set the container to have padding of, of 30 pixels both on the left and the right and that's so the content inside of there like all this stuff doesn't go all the way to the edge it's kind of it has some breathing room between the actual border well we want our uh, unordered list over here to span the entire uh, the entire thing the entire container so uh, we're gonna have to kind of combat that padding that we added so one way to think about it is the opposite of padding are margins and obviously positive padding could be combated with a negative margin okay let me show you um, we have a UL so we know that this UL is being affected by that padding in the container so I am gonna go and do margin left and I'm gonna go negative 30 pixels because I'll show you right up here my container has 30, pix uh, 30 pixels of padding on the left and the right so by adding margin left negative 30 pixels when I refresh this this whole thing should go come right up to the side of the border and it did but look what happens we still have 30 pixels over here affecting us so what we could do there is do margin right negative 30 pixels and now I'll save it and that should bring it right up not too bad so if we saw that that negative uh, left and right margin brought this to the left and right of the document then why don't we try to pull it up it with the same concept so let's do a margin top of a negative value let's do margin top equals negative it's gonna need more than 30 so why don't we say negative we'll say 40 just to see what that does Wow that brought it right to the top maybe that was too much so you just want just enough so let's do 35 ah and now look what happens when I do 35 it leaves a little little space was that about two pixels over there so why don't I do I'll add so 30 negative 37 let's see if that clears it up nope I still have about one little pixel left and ah let's look real close look at that no more so that's all done now perfect perfect uh, well that gets us positioned but the next problem is that um, we actually want the blackness over here to span the entire browser chrome right because if you see here uh, regardless of how uh, wide it is the, the black bar is always there well we do that by adding a background image to the body because that's where we define this color over here this khaki green color or whatever um, and well here's what I did this let's see this whole size is about let's let's use our um, where is I always forget where it is where's our ruler 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 uh, 
missile display ruler. So let's see. I think this is about what? Uh, okay, its height is about 20. I think it's about 25 pixels, even though this is uh, this says 23. So what you want to do is create an image, like I did here. I called it BG stripe, and basically the image is the width of the image is only one pixel. We're going to use this image to repeat across our background um, horizontally. Uh, as far as the height goes, you want the height to be about the height that you want it to cover, which, let me make sure, tools adjust size, I want to make sure it's, okay, tw it's, it is 25 pixels high. So I'm going to leave that as it is, and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. I am going to define for my body a background image. Background image is going to be that stripe that I created. There it is. I'll choose it. And now the repeat, I'm going to say repeat X because that's the horizontal axis. So I'll hit apply, hit OK. And when I go back and refresh this, let me get rid of that. Look what happens. That thing fully spans. It's basically repeating that image every time I stretch the browser. Now if you look carefully, carefully, it's not exactly parallel. So I need to kind of add a little something to it. And I think what I could do, I could add I could add padding to that uh, unordered list. I could either add padding to the top, which is going to push this text down a little bit, or I could add padding to the bottom, which is just going to add a little more black. And I think this is about, this can't be bigger than one pixel. So what I'm going to do to correct this is to the unordered list, I'll add padding, bottom, say one pixel, just adding that over there. If I refresh this, oof, look at that. Beautiful straight line. And now I have the appearance of this being one bar all the way at the top of my page.